So hello guys, I'm here today in the bedroom of my brother and my sister-in-law who is watching right there, Sagawas. Uh, she's happy that I'm here. Hopefully, she's happy that I'm here. <laughs> and now I'm going to show you our secret weapon when it comes to budget solution in-ear monitoring system. And it is the beast right here that I'm holding, the Behringer PowerPlay HA8000. So, let me read this to you. This is an 8-channel high-power headphones mixing and distribution amplifier model, HA8000. The company that made this is Behringer. They're actually a great company. We have a few products nila that we enjoy at church. But um, we purchased this on August 9, 2019 uh, because this is actually our second na nga headphone amplifier. We have the PreSonus HP60. We use that on our another setup at uh, SM. It's a good uh, headphone amplifier as well. But today, ito yung Vida. So, HA8000. Let me explain to you what we do sa church, what our setup is. As you can see sa front, it's very very straightforward. You have volume knobs right here. Volume knobs and then a PL output. Okay, so this is where you plug your headphone extension cords. Uh, PL siya, so it's not a 3.5. So what we do is we made our own headphone extension cords. So we use a Nutrik PL connector. And sa end up line, we just use some custom-made BB uh, plug. Para makarelate kayo sa sinasabi ko, I'll just show you what we did. So, thank you, thank you, thank you for helping me. So, ang gumawa actually neto is here. <laughs> is she, he's there. Okay. So, here it is. Um, PL. So, this is a TRS. So, guys, take note. TRS. Uh, tip, ring sleeve. So, dalawa yung line niya. This is equivalent to a microphone XLR. This will um, protect your gear from burning because sometimes it, it, it gets hot when TS lang siya. So, use TRS. Believe me, use TRS. Dalawang line, okay? And on the other end, there is a 3.5 jack or a BB jack, right? BB, yeah, BB. Okay, BB jack right here. And then ito, if you guys can see this, this is actually a, a PVC... Uh, PVC pipe. Anong measurement? One half na PVC pipe. This is a custom made uh, stuff right here as you can see sa cameras nyo. So this is actually just like that. So a regular BB jack or 3.5 jack right there. And then my brother, the Mr. DIY, made some ano. Ito. He molded that. Okay? Then then painted it with black lang para pwede mong ikabit dito. Dito mo, sa, sa jeans mo or anywhere. Or if you want to, oh, kapit mo dyan, pwede din. But, um, no, I wouldn't suggest that. So, eto, uh, we use this, okay? We use this. So, what we do is, from this Behringer, we plug it right here. So, phone's out. Phone's out, right there. And then, dito, sa other end, dito yung headphone or earphones or any anything. Para marinig namin yung sarili namin. So, this is the front end. Okay, going to the back end. Ito, importante. Kasi, what we do is, we have kasi uh, multiple auxiliary outs sa mixer namin. That is a great feature sa mixer. So, when you plan to buy a new mixer, make sure that you have multiple auxiliary outs. Because you will need that in this setup or any other setup actually guys. Because when you plan to like really uh, improve on your sound, improve on your worship experience, as a musician or as a minister, you want to hear like what you want to hear in your ears because mo naman yan, so that's your ears, so you want to hear what you want to hear. So I suggest that when you buy a new mixer, consider having multiple auxiliary outputs so that you have maximum control over your ears. Okay, so ito yung setup niya. Right here, sa likod, we have simple lang. Per channel, it has phone's output. And then direct input. Etong phones output actually, you can use this uh, for like external na phones out. But don't worry about that. May phones out naman dito sa front, so it's okay. Eto direct input. Eto guys is a TRS na input as well. So 
from here, dito mo iba plug yung auxiliary outputs from your mixer. So we use this one, this cord right here. So this is a XLR na female. This will come from the auxiliary out. And then sa other end niya is again the PL. Okay. In this case, we use the uh, ano lang a TS na PL. So it's a TS. Okay lang siya guys because it's a short cable. So it won't get hot, okay? But if you are using a stage box or a snake cable, then I don't suggest you guys using this because for sure you'll be using a longer wire. So ayun, for us it works because ang setup kasi, ito yung headphone up namin, yung mixer nasa top na. So we can just plug it right there and then plug dito. So again, ito siya, itong PL from the mixer, from the auxiliary out, it will go in the direct input. Okay? Ayun. Ayun, ayun. Again, again, again. ASMR. Alright, alright. So that works for us. And then, that will go up until 6. Sa amin kasi, we only have at most 6 na outputs. But we can stretch actually. So 6. Ito, so you have extra dalawa pa. Okay, so in summary, ito yung itsura niya. Okay, this is how it looks like. So this will come from your mixer's auxiliary output. Uh, from the output, it will go to the direct input ng headphone amplifier. Ito yung sa back end, ba? And then sa front end, ito yung mangyayari. So, etong TRS will be plugged in the phones out. So, just be careful kasi sa, sa likod, back part, may number naman. So, headphone amp 1 and then phones out number 1. Okay. And then, this will go out, okay, dito sa TRS cable and then flow patungo sa headphone jack. So you will plug your in-ears here and then straight to your ears. And then you will hear yourself just like that. As easy as that, ayun, you can hear yourself crystal clear. And for us, that is very important because we want to hear separate mixes sa ears namin. So for me, I want to hear myself more. Another preference din sa akin is I want to hear the drums a little bit more. So it may be different from our guitarist. Maybe he wants to hear himself more and then the bass more and then but little acoustic lang. So it really depends and so this setup right here, this guys, will help you achieve that and will help you protect your ears as well. I say this very often sa musicians namin, be very very maarte or be very um, picky when it comes to mixing your in-ears or the levels in your ears because you're actually doing that to protect your ears and you want your ears to be healthy because uh, an earphone may be broken, you can buy another earphone. Pero pag yung tenga mo na sira, you can buy another ear. So, uh, I mean, you can get it repaired, but it will cost you more. So, ayun, um, this setup will help you not only hear better, but of course, protect your ears as well. Because that is your weapon, your ears. This is the Behringer PowerPlay HA8000. And I think this is the best setup for all the churches out there who want some in-ears na budget lang, swak sa budget. So, this right here. Alright, so we bought this for just 18,000 pesos only. You might say right now, wow, 18,000, but mahal pa rin. Okay, let me break it down to you to give you a quick glimpse of why I could really say na this is the right budget for all churches out there. Because, if you wanna buy a solid floor monitor or floor wedge, Para sa church nyo, you would spend around 70k per piece. That is like the JBL PRX that is in the market right now. So as you can see, I'm now in my room because the memory of my phone was uh, full during the shoot. So I'm here, but let's continue. So the PRX na 15 inches will cost you around 70k, right? And imagine this, you have at least 4 musicians or actually 5 kasi may acoustic guitar player electric, uh, bass, drums, and then keyboardist. So you have five musicians right there. So 70k times five is equal to 350k. So yun lang. And then if you are a set up and tear down church like us, so you do your services uh, sa cinemas, then you need to have flight cases for your speakers. Because um, these speakers cost you 70k, might as well protect them, right? We protect things that are valuable. So if you are going to buy flight cases, that will add up na naman, another cost, and then of course cabling pa. You will spend around maybe 450, 500k 
just to have that set up. And compared to this Behringer HA8000 that costs you only 18K and the traditional monitor setup that most people want to achieve, pero it will cost you a big, big amount of money, 500K, 18K versus 500K, I think we have a winner. And for me, this is what I always say, this is the perfect budget solution for all churches out there. If you like this video, please do like and share this video to people who may benefit from this. Comment down below if you have some questions or you just want to interact. And don't forget to lay hands on that subscribe button right there so that you won't miss any video that I am going to post right here in this channel. Again, this is Kyle of Church on a Budget PH that aims to help churches become efficient and effective. See you on the next video. Peace.